See if this shows up on camera. Hey everybody, this is Prep Pro 2717. Just going for a walk through uh, the trail system by our house. We have several miles of trails just right across the street from our place. I heard uh, quite a bit of cracking and breaking. You can see branches all over the place in here, freshly split. Uh, it was uh, pretty. Uh, a pretty common thing around this area, well, just the Pacific Northwest in general. Um, that tree splitting over there from the weight of the ice. I'll probably hike down to the beach, hang out there for a little bit, and then make my way back up. It's about uh, a little after three o'clock on Sunday, so. It's dark probably around 4:30, close to 5. It's not going to be an awful long, awfully long hike. Just, uh, just in a kind of an excuse to get out in the woods. There's a creek that runs down, down there. So I'm getting pretty close. Uh, my place is up that hill, um, I don't know, a couple miles back. <clears throat> but um, all the water runs down. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it there, there's a stream there that comes down. And then a stream from up there that comes down. And they join here. And then it flows out to the sound. So that's kind of where I'm headed. There's a lot of this stuff across the trail. No big deal. But um, as you can see, this is a very well-worn path. It's not like I'm in the, I'm not in the back country by any means. But it is nice to have a trail system like this just right outside your door. So you can just take off, grab the kids, um, pack up some food or something and uh, head down to the beach. So the closer I get to the water, the more of this I'm seeing. Uh, this kind of stuff across the trail. Must have been one heck of a show the other day. But you know, like I said, it's nothing too, too major or it's nothing that uh, would stop you from making it down there. Just take a little bit of climbing, and you're on your way. I see more up ahead even. Maybe I'll just keep filming. Okay, it looks almost like someone just came through and clear cut this area. But these are all uh, fallen trees. Trying to protect my camera as much as I can because it is definitely not waterproof. And we're getting hit by rain. So here's our little uh, beach paradise, just down the down the trail from our place. So across there, I don't think I'll talk about uh, what island that is over there, just so that I don't disclose the location of the Bat Cave. Well, I'm on my way back. Uh, it's starting to get dark pretty quick, so I'm just going to head home. I'm not too far from, from my house. So I'm going to skip out on a cup, cup of coffee here in the woods, and uh, next time I come out, I'll fire it up then. Hopefully I have a little bit more uh, time and uh, I'm not stretching the daylight. Okay, looks like I changed my mind about the coffee. Uh, I figure I'm close enough to home, and uh, it's not too dark yet. So what I've done is... 
set up my penny stove with a little windscreen. There's not too much of a breeze blowing through, you can see. I found a little spot just right under this um, tree, kind of comes out and gives me a little bit of a dry area under there to light it so up. So I just threw about a cup and a half of water in my kettle there, uh, just enough to make a quick cup. Uh, so I'll see if I can do this one-handed and, and get this thing going. Try not to make too big of a mess. So I'll put some denatured alcohol in the priming dish. And I'll put my stove on top. And then fill that up. About like so. And then we'll light it up. I don't know if yet you should be able to see that. So hopefully this, uh, hopefully the fuel in the priming dish stays lit. It'll get that thing going just that much quicker. And we'll, I usually have the kettle on there while it's heating up. All right. It's not the most secure spot. Until the stove fires off comes out the little jets, which it looks like it's doing right about now. There we go. So in about three minutes or so, we should have some hot water and get some coffee going. I'll uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Four, three. So we're about two and a half minutes in. And what I did was uh, I mixed, I mixed uh, my coffee. I put some co my little packet of coffee in there and then added a little bit of hot chocolate. You know? What's up, YouTube? Who doesn't like a little bit of Swiss Miss hot chocolate? And then look at a little picture on there. Don't they look like they're just enjoying themselves. This sounds like a cup of happiness to me. So uh, I mixed that in there. And let's see how our water's doing. Oh yeah, we're golden. So, plenty of time. Still have jets firing off. This isn't usually the cup that I use uh, when I when I have this uh, penny stove going. This is the cup that comes with my little volcano stove. So, let's take the lid off. Look at that. This uh, right. kettle is aluminum and it'll cool down pretty fast, especially when I sit it in the snow here. Uh, let me find my little my little titanium spork. Mix up my beverage. Get a cup of deluxe goodness going on here. Alright, I usually hang that right on my kettle there. <clears throat> Alright. Oh yeah, that'll warm you up. All right, well, I'm gonna pack this stuff back up and then I'm gonna head home. And I'll probably just uh, carry the coffee with me and drink it on the way. So thanks so much for hanging out with me in the woods and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.